everybody, it's Chrissy from Knitting in the Heights. So today, whew, it's warm in here. Actually, I'll remove this shawl for now because I'm going out very soon. Today is the Medieval Festival here in New York City and it hasn't happened since 2019. And I moved to New York City right before the Medieval Festival and it's in my neighborhood. It's, um, it's in the Heights kind of um, in it's in Fort Tryon Park, right by the Cloisters, which is part of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's where there's all sorts of medieval architecture um, and and different sculptures and, and just all sorts of art from the medieval period. So this is the first time they've had it, again, since COVID hit. So I'm really, really excited. I do love uh, like a Renaissance festival. This one is um, going to have, supposed to have knights in shining armor fighting each other. Um, the whole shebang. So I'm really, really excited. And I am wearing my gear with some hand knits too, by the way. So I will be, I'm pulling up my skirt actually for now because I don't want it to drag on the platforms. <laughs> so I'm gonna, the overskirt I'm actually pulling up. And for now, I'm gonna tuck it in here. And then when I get there, I will release it just so that this doesn't get too dirty. The shift is fine. Um, but yeah, so had this for several years. Doesn't matter what size I am, it seems to fit no matter what, <laughs> which is great. So I thought I'd show you a really cool um, Oracle deck that I have that relates. So this is the Enchanted Spell Oracle, which is a medieval hedge witch magic oracle by Priestess Moon. It is completely inspired by hedge witchery, but also the medieval period. Um, I absolutely love illuminated manuscripts. I'm fascinated just by the whole, just by the whole process of like everything medieval. I think like in a past life, I was totally a medieval monk. Anyway, there you go. So here's an example of some of the cards. They're really, really beautiful. And so we're gonna do, it's upside down, a little reading with these today. So let's do a reading for October and let me just take a look. So it has a, a full book that tells you this, the whole, everything about the card, the divination, everything. Um, it even has, it says how to use the cards, um, past, present, future layout or a crescent moon layout. So we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to ask, what do I need to know? And I'll do past, present, future. Um, I'm not so great at shuffling overhand because I have small hands, so I will be shuffling like I normally shuffle a deck of cards. And so I'm going to pick three cards. And then I'm going to get my little boy ready. He's going to take his little friend, his dragon, and I'm meeting a friend there, a friend who's actually visiting from Georgia today. She's going to meet us up at the festival. Super excited. We may not stay long because Gabe still has a cough. Um, he seems to be fine generally. Uh, he was running around yesterday and I'm just going to get him some cough medicine, see if that helps him and just see how he's doing. And if he's not doing great, we'll leave early. No biggie. All right. So I shuffle my cards. What do I need to know in the month of October? Okay. And two and three. Okay. So my first card I got was prosperity. So that is in the past. So let's take a look about what this means. So prosperity, success, gratitude, and blessings. Prosperity is a state of success and feeling fortunate. You need to adjust your mindset. Having a joyful attitude and having fun, counting your blessings and feeling grateful. So in the past, I needed to really focus on prosperity. And that is something that I felt like I was trying to focus more on, um, just to allow myself to feel okay with where things are in my life currently. Um, the next card I got, this is my present and it's fertility. And I hope it means like, oh, thoughts and not actual body. <laughs> I don't, no more kids coming out of this baby factory, yo. Um, so fertility, new beginnings. Okay, so this is all about new beginnings. All right, which makes sense. The school year starting. It's also talking about growth. So the appearance of the fertility card doesn't have to be pregnancy. 
That's important. Because I will ask Hildegard of Bingen, who was a nun from the medieval period. She knew how to actually prevent pregnancy for men and women. Interesting. Um, it can also mean launching new projects or new imaginings that can lead to new beginnings and a new way of life. This makes sense. I'm looking for a new apartment. The school year is starting. Um, so the job is, is starting anew in a way. So that makes a lot of sense. And my future. I got good fortune. So that's in my future, which I hope that's a great sign for things to come. Um, good fortune, luck, synchronicity, and surprises. When the good for fortune card appears, a synchronous event is on its way. Good fortune favors lucky chance, so look out for some surprising treats and wonderful experiences when you draw this card. Think of all the lucky things good fortune will bring to you, and maybe already has. So it's a wonderful reading, wonderful deck. I'm going to get my little kiddo ready for this trip and I'll take you along with us. Um, even with us on the subway with me dressed in this, it's going to be fun looking at people's faces. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.
resignation to the end, ever the end. When we found we could not make our amends, thou declared we would ever be friends. But I can see that I was fate to be parted. Was there cause to count?